Hi there, what I'd like to show you today is a Node-RED module which we've created. It allows you to do cloud-based logging for the Log Entries system. LogEntries.com is a cloud-based logging service. So here we are at the Node-RED site. I've already downloaded Node-RED and installed it here. You can see the files. Node-RED would be able to kick off with uh, Node-RED.js. Okay. Node Red is running here, and here we see it. What I'd like to do is install now the Node Red module which we have written. It's on npm, so to install it, real easy, just copy paste the npm install command into the home directory of Node Red, and that will do it. It comes with a dependency on the log entries Node.js module. And it's all installed here, and we can go see it inside the directory, like so. It installs these files right here, and as a dependency, log entries. Now that the module has been installed, let's just kick off Node Red again. Here we see it running, and just refresh the browser. And we see that we have an extra node that we can bring in called log entries here. I'm just going to double click it to set the configuration. We add a remote server because it needs to put this data somewhere. So it's already set up by, with data.logentries.com and port 80 by default, but it needs a token. So in this scenario, logentries.com uses a token to describe which log you want to pipe to. In this case, I've logged into logentries.com and I see a particular log here called node red log one. I click on token and I'm revealed what the token is. I copy that and I can just paste it straight into the box here. I can add that and we're good to go. Now I just want to send something into the actual log itself. So I quickly attach this. And all I'm sending is a timestamp right now. I hit deploy and it's ready to go. Let's just add a debug statement here as well. Okay. So now the intention is when we click on the inject node, we intend to send it to the cloud based log. Here's the cloud log running. We can see that there's nothing here yet. In the last five minutes, it hasn't found anything. There's a live tail feature here, which allows me to see every event coming through. So there has been nothing for a while. Last five minutes, it finds nothing. But if I go back here, and I'm running with Node Red, and I click Inject, I sent a timestamp uh, ending in 459 there. And here I see it has landed in, in the cloud-based logs already, ending in 459. I'll just hit another one here. And we saw it arrived really quickly at the bottom of the log entry system page here. So that means that you can very easily send any messages from Node-RED through to the cloud-hosted logging system. One advantage is that you can have many instances of Node-RED or worksheets or uh, events plowing logs all the time and streaming them into a consolidated place where you can search for them, etc. In this example now, I'll just change it for a string to say, hi, this is a test, and I'm going to send that. So first I deploy it, and I quickly check the logs at the moment, and I see... Nothing really has happened. But now when I inject that test, instantly we, we see it as log over at the cloud-based log here. Hi, this is a test. So all of this stuff now is searchable and you can do lots of alerts and things like that. So let's say I want to search for hi, this is a test in the last five minutes. And it didn't find that, but okay. So now I was able to test for the word this 
in the last 20 minutes I hit find and I and it found that line of that log. So all in all, we've created a node red module that allows you to send it to a cloud-based system for logging. And to install it, all it takes is npm install node red contrib dash log entries. Hope you enjoy it and pop us any messages if it's working out for you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.